Good morning, brother. And I made it this morning. <clears throat> Just turned down my notices that I put out in the building here. And I uh, said, now i got to get Brother Anthony's encouragement off and say hello to him this morning. i got to be up there in Providence. Actually, I'll be at the VA uh, about 11. And uh got an appointment. It shouldn't be too long. Then i got to come back and we got to make the dinner for the people downstairs tonight. Then we got Bible study. And then uh, whatever else the Lord puts in my path. And he may put all kinds of changes to that in my path. But that's okay because they're coming from the right place. All right, brother. Here's your encouraging words today for all those that listen in and uh, view this. And then you and I, here's what it says. Sit quietly in my presence while I bless you. Good advice for all of us, huh, brother? Make your mind like a still pool of water, <clears throat> ready to receive whatever thoughts I drop into it. What a beautiful bunch of words there, huh? Just sitting with the Lord, thoughts dropping into your head. Rest in my sufficiency as you consider the challenges this day presents. Do not worry, or do not wear yourself out by worrying about whether you can cope with the pressures. Keep looking to me and commun communicating with me as we walk through this day together. Take time to rest by the wayside, for I am not in a hurry. A leisurely pace accomplishes more than hurried striving. Absolutely true. When you rush, you forget who you are who you are, and whose you are. Remember that you are royalty in my kingdom. The Bible support, brother, for this is from Psalm 37, 7, Romans 8, 16, and 17, and 1 Peter 2, verse 9. Great words, huh, brother? We do, as humans, we rush around. Our days are filled with all kinds of stuff, even though it comes from the Lord. He wants us to do it with him. Just sit every moment with him, every thought. He just starts to sit quietly in my presence, okay? So you sit in the, with the Lord in the morning, and you don't have to say anything or do anything. You just make your mind like a still pool of water. And we've all been out in nature. I hope everybody's been there and seen that. You know, you pull up to a lake on a very not breezy day, and the water's like a sheet of glass. And that's how you think your mind should be. That's how he wants your mind to be. And then, as you sit there, not thinking or considering anything, he drops thoughts into your head. And the little droplets, you can see them hit the water. You can feel them in your head. They're coming from him. It might be a change, you know, you might think, oh, i got to do this. And he'll say, well, I want you to do this. So consider those things. No hurry. No hurry in this day, brother. All right, brother, I don't know what you've got on your plate. The Lord, I know the Lord's there, so whatever it is, coming from him, brother. And uh, we'll walk through this day with him together. You and your place he's put you, and me and the section he's put me, and uh, we'll display his glory to everyone we meet. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Have a great day. I'll be here tomorrow, hopefully again in the morning. <laughs> Peace, brother.